I talked earlier about um, the need to regulate the solar system or to control the solar system. You don't want to keep on pumping heat energy into your cylinder um, to make your cylinder too hot because you turn on the tap and you'll scorch yourself. So we have a system in Genesis of regulating the energy in the cylinder by using a digital controller. And this is what it is. It's actually a piece of hardware containing a piece of software. And there are connections, sensors that go from this to sense the temperature in the solar panels on your roof and the temperature in the um, hot water cylinder. And when there's a sufficient differential, when, when the temperature of the uh, solar panels is more than roughly eight or 10 degrees higher than the temperature in your cylinder, a pump will start and pump the heat from the panels into the cylinder. You can see what the temperature of the panels are, what the temperature of the solar is. It can be regulated, you can make the temperature differential greater or smaller according to demand and you can get your installer to program it according to your lifestyle. So you can be using solar energy most efficiently. And if, if you're really a, uh, an anorak about these things, we can sell you a very sophisticated controller that you can download information onto your computer and which can record the kilowatt hours each each day, each month, each year that your solar system is providing for you. Okay, let me get rid of some of this stuff and show you the pump station. Now, that's what you'll see in your home if you have a Genesis solar system fitted. Three dials. This dial is a pressure dial and that will show you the pressure of the heat circuit. That's normally maintained at three and a half to four bars. If you see a big pressure drop, you shouldn't, but if you do, it means the system hasn't been installed properly, that there's a small leak or a small weep somewhere in the system. We maintain the pressure. You will in the course of, of, of if you watch the dials after your system's been installed, you will see big fluctuations in the pressure as heat um, is moved from the panels into your cylinder. Don't worry about it, that's perfectly normal. You mustn't see a permanent drop in pressure. Red for hot, this measures the temperature on the hot. Blue for cold, this measures the temperature on the cold system. Let me take away, it's going to make a lot of noise, so and that's what's inside. Temperature on the heat circuit, temperature on the cold circuit. There's the pump. Pump is a modulating pump, so it operates at whatever speed is necessary to deliver heat most efficiently into the hot water cylinder as the controller tells it to do and um, the pump will be turned on and off by the controller. You notice that the pump is attached to the cold circuit. This regulates the amount of um, uh, flow that the system is going through and, and through here we have a way of filling and refilling the glycol and checking the glycol. Um, attached to here will be a small pressure vessel that will be a safety device to absorb the increases and decreases of pressure in the system. And that's the pump station for you. Nice bit of kit, neat, all sorts of non-return valves and other technical stuff involved in it. Works well and um, uh, made to last, like all the other Genesis kits.